Welcome to Casella's Zero Sort Auburn Material Recovery Facility. Here we accept Worcester's recycled material and we sort it at the plant so that you don't have to at the curb. The process is called Zero Sort Recycling. It not only saves the city of Worcester money, but it also makes it easier for you to recycle. We feel that if it's easier for you to recycle, that you'll recycle more and you'll be able to reduce the amount of trash that you have to pay for to dispose of at landfills or incinerators. Hi, I'm Donna with the Worcester's Department of Public Works and Parks, and we're excited to be using Casella Waste Systems as our new recycling collector. By now, you should have seen the brand new Casella trucks in your neighborhood picking up your recyclables. Each truck has a unique graphic of Worcester landmarks. What you might not know is that you no longer need to separate your recyclables for pickup. That's because Casella uses what's called zero sort recycling. In the past, residents had to sort the recycling into paper products in commingled containers. Paper had to be placed in a paper bag and the containers had to go into your curbside recycling bin. Now the city and Casella is changing all that with zero sort recycling. Zero sort recycling allows you to put your recyclables all in one container. Now you can put paper, plastic, aluminum and tin, bottles and jars, all in your curbside recycling bin without having to sort. And if your curbside bin is too small, you can use a 30 gallon barrel for all your recycling. Just don't exceed 40 pounds and write recycling in big letters on the side of the barrel. How is this possible? Let's join Joe Faris, the division manager at Casella's Auburn Material Recovery Facility as he takes you on a tour of what happens after your recyclables leave your curb. As the material comes in, it, we weigh everything over a truck scale and the trucks get directed over to the tip floor area. As the trucks uh, discharge the zero sort material, uh, a wheel loader pushes it onto the conveyor uh, that's built, the infeed conveyor that's built into the floor, meter and drum, levels the burden depth of the material out as it passes the upfeed conveyor. First sort station that it comes to is the uh, pre-sort and at that station that's where we pull out all the trash mixed in with the recycling material. The first screen that the material then passes over is a uh, large cardboard screen and the design of the screen is that the large piece of cardboard surf over the top and the balance of the material falls down uh, through the two other decks. The bottom deck takes the glass and sends the glass uh, to a vacuum that takes the small pieces of paper or fiber out. And the glass ends up getting conveyed outside to a, to a bunker and the middle conveyor takes the balance of the material which is uh, newspaper plastic bottles, tin cans, and aluminum cans. First screen that it passes over takes 70 percent of the newsprint out and it sends it to a quality control station where uh, eight sorters uh, sort through the material pulling out any of the uh, non-newspaper material or plastic that makes it over there. The second screen is a polishing screen. We call it the V-screen and the V-screen takes the remainder of the fiber out of the plastic and that works by compressed air forcing the newspaper out flat and there's a series of roll discs that carry it to the top and over the side and it gets conveyed back over to the same paper QC line. What we're left with is really uh, plastic bottles, tin cans and aluminum cans go up to the elevated commingled sort line and it, the material passes over an electromagnet first which takes all the steel and tin cans out, coffee cans and soup cans. Material passes through a commingled sort line. The first station is the, the sorters are pulling out colored HDPE. The second sort station up on the commingled line they're hand sorting the natural plastic and the last sort station they're pulling any of the uh, soda bottles or the PET that uh, have liquid still in them. 
They were also pulling any paper out that makes it this far. The balance of the material goes through a conveyor up in the ceiling here and goes to the optical sort in the uh, eddy current. The uh, optical sort separates the soda bottles or the PET out. Computer on it recognizes the PET through uh, light refraction and the computer knows the speed of the belt. There's 180 high pressure air jets. As the material falls over the head pulley roller, uh, the correct jet fires on it, launching the uh, soda bottle over a divider plate. And the balance of the material falls down in front. The uh, eddy current is uh, reverse polarity magnets, which forces the aluminum up over a divider plate. Both those commodities have to be uh, QC'd uh, at the lower level before they uh, go through these tubes and get blown back to the storage bins. Balance of the material ends up dropping into a three through seven residue bunker that gets bailed and, and also shipped to an export market. I hope you found that tour informative and helpful. Here is a quick review of the materials you can put in your recycling container. Plastics one through seven, but no styrofoam, and no plastic bags of any kind. Tin cans and aluminum food and beverage containers, clear or colored glass bottles or jars, paper products including newspaper, magazines, junk mail, office paper, juice and milk cartons, cardboard, chipboard, and soft covered books. As the City of Worcester continues to improve upon the recycling program in order to make recycling easier, increase participation, and save money, we thank you for your help and commitment to making Worcester a greener place to live. Zero Sort Recycling in Worcester is here and now.